Williams or Fred Barnett. Maybe both. I know, but he got in the fight down there, and then that brought the penalty. So, again, they're right back where they started from. An 18-yard field goal set up for Roger Ruzik. Shorter than an extra point. Eagles holding. And we have another tie at 10. The first half stayed at nothing, nothing until the Cowboys finally got a field goal. And now it's all even again. And Isaac Holt is a happy guy because it was a third down play where he got the unnecessary roughness penalty. It was a fight after the play was over. He knows him. Mean, he's been around eight years. He knows that he should have gotten off there. But when that happens, if you're a defensive back in this league, the worst thing you can have is a memory. When a play is over, you have to forget it. Now Jimmy Johnson is talking to him there about it. Is that what you would have done as a coach? Say, hey, think of the situation. In fact, that was what Jimmy Johnson, you see, he said, point way to his head, use your head. I mean, it's easy to say when you're not in the heat of battle, but if you're a competitor and some guy, whether it was Fred Barnett or Calvin Williams is down there and they're throwing punches and taunting and so on, it's hard to walk. I mean, that's the right thing to do. You have to walk away, but it, it's hard to do. In the heat of the battle, you just throw something, and then the next thing you know, uh, the guy throws a flag on you. Sometimes that's hard to do in any situation, just yeah. walk away. Yeah, that's in, but, but that's what, you know, you think an eight-year veteran, that's what Jimmy Johnson... I'm sure was telling him that, you know, we'd stopped him, the play was over, just be happy and uh, just give him your back to read. Martin and Holmes back deep for Ruzek's kickoff, and it's a good one. But he'll bring it out. Kelvin Martin. He will wish he didn't bring it out. Brent Hager down to make the stop. These are all finals. They all took place earlier today. Green Bay beat Detroit. The Jets over Miami. New Orleans continues to roll. 49ers losing at the moment to Phoenix. And the Saints would move into a tie for first. Very quietly. You know, I think the Cowboys did dodge a bullet down here because I think Herschel Walker crossed the plane, and I think that, that should have been a touchdown. First and ten, Cowboys from their own 11. The Smith with Rome, and up Smith, still on his feet, chased by Hopkins. Then it's Smith inside the Eagles 40. 51 yards. Smith. Byron Evans blitz. And they took advantage of it. Watch Evans blitz as they start towards Evans. And then everything was going to that left. Emmett Smith started to the left. Boom, he saw that big cutback lane there. He took it. The only guy that can catch him is Eric Allen coming from the other side of the field. Emmett Smith has 18 carries and 104 yards. Emmett Smith made that play because it was a good defensive call. They were blitzing right into the run. Emmett Smith started there and took a cutback away from the blitz. If Emmett's tired, no. To the right side. A gain of five. Rich Miano up to make the stop. Maybe he is tired. Some running backs get better when they're tired. You know, I think that uh, you know the defense get a little tired. They get a little tired. And they just, just instincts take over. If you talk to most running backs, they will usually do better after they carry the ball 10 or 12 times than they will the first 10 or 12 times they carry the ball. He's had it 19 times. Second and six, 10-10 tie, the Eagles and Cowboys. They're going to throw it. You don't think it's wrong to say drop it again, do you? No, 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 it's right to say. I mean, he's a guy, you know, we talked about this the broken finger, and then you have to adjust because he's a guy who's always caught the ball with his hand. Then you have the broken finger, and now he's trying to adjust, and he's trying to catch the ball with his body or against his body. 
And what the ball's doing is getting too close, hitting his shoulder pad, and just bouncing out. Third and six at the Eagle 33. Here's Aikman. Gets it to Martin. And they fling him around and backwards. Wes Hopkins does. Down to the 30. A gain of three. I think the Cowboys thought they had to be able to run today. Emmett Smith had to be able to run. The Eagles thought they had to stop Emmett Smith. And now he has over 100 yards. Here comes Elliott for his fourth field goal try of the day. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. Dallas 10, Philadelphia 10. Our coverage will continue after this message from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS. Ten ten tie at Texas Stadium. The Eagles and the Cowboys. An NFC East rivalry as perhaps unmatched anywhere else in professional football. If you look at how the teams have performed in the fourth quarter. Elliott from 48 yards this time. That's going to get there. And the Cowboys have the lead back. To credit the great, the great goal line defense and the big run by Emmett Smith. 13-10 Dallas. This game summary is sponsored by Energizer brand batteries. At the beginning of the third quarter, Jim McMahon replaced Cunningham at the Eagle quarterback spot. The Eagles have 121 yards. Dallas 309. Emmett Smith 19 carries, 108 yards. Seems to be sort of, sort of a barometer for a running back to get over 100 yards against this Eagle defense. Elliott's kickoff is deep and good. Seidler downs it deep in the end zone. You know, and the funny thing about that is the Eagles played it pretty well. You're going to see Johnson here. He's going to lead. Byron Evans is going to hit it here. Emmett Smith starts here, then watch the hole that he comes back here. Byron Evans reads 48 Johnson. He goes in there and takes on the lead. Emmett Smith leaves the lead and goes the other way, and there's no one there until Eric Allen comes all the way across. First and 10, the Eagles at their own 20. Opening seconds of the final quarter, and the Cowboys leading 13-10. Jim McMahon, the Philadelphia quarterback. Screen pass to Byers. Good room. Byers. Cut down by Everett. An eagle first down, a gain of 18. Yeah, you know, that's one thing about Keith Byers is, is he can have a you know a bad knee. He got his knee hurt against the Redskins. He has a broken hand in two places, but He's, he's one of those guys you just have to like on your side. I mean, he's a competitor. He knows this is a big game. He knows he has broken hands, cast, stuff, holding things. But there's no way you're going to keep him out of this action. Didn't play last week at all. One good thing, he's left-handed, and his right hand is broken. Fires again. A gain of a yard. And now McMahon has got to put it up. I'll tell you, Jeff Goat is in there and Charles Haley is out. I don't know if Haley is out. In fact, Jeff Goat is just waving for someone to come in. But I don't know. In fact, here comes Haley as we speak. But I, I didn't know if Haley was out just for a rest or if there was something wrong with Haley. But I think on a second and long and third and long, you want Charles Haley in there somewhere. Getting after that passer. He can do it. Second and long. McMahon back to throw it. Haley. McMahon got it to Byers. A gain of a couple of yards. Robert Jones kept Byers down. 
You know, watch Haley here. What he does is he's going to take an inside move, but he takes about three guys with him, and he makes a pile right in front of the